Hello everyone, welcome to Recitation Zero D, Intro to PyTorch. Today, me, Jeel, and Rucha will take you through the content of this recitation. So PyTorch is an open source deep learning framework used to build neural networks. And you will be using this widely in your part one and part twos uh, for creating your network. You will be able to apply uh, these neural networks for various applications such as computer vision, natural language processing, and so on. So here is a high level overview of this framework. Tensor is the basic building block as you use uh, NumPy for your arrays to do the manipulation and for making your functions and everything, you will be using a tensor over here in your part ones for uh, coding different things like losses, et cetera. And as we move on to our part twos, we will be able to load our data using the data set and the data loader functions in the torch.utils.data package and uh, then use it for modeling. We'll also have uh, various other libraries such as Torch Vision and so on, which give you packages such as transforms that you will be able to use for pre-processing. And we also have the Autocrad module, which can be used to differentiate differentiable functions. For building your networks, uh, the deep neural networks, you will be using the module or the sequential uh, packages of the PyTorch framework where you will be able to use different layers um, one after the other to build your network. And uh, we can also find different optimizers and different learning rate schedulers in the optim package of the Torch. So apart from this, you will also be able to use uh, this for saving and loading your mod models, which will help you do checkpointing. And you will also be able to debug and visualize these models with TensorBoard. And you can also use it for distributed training. So apart from uh, Torch Vision that is used for uh, different transforms, which can be used for computer vision, you also have various other libraries such as Torch Text, Torch Surf, et cetera which can also be used for their very, uh, their respective applications. And you can explore more um, when you work on your part twos. And we, have, uh, we also have um, different ecosystems which are built using the PyTorch, such as transformers and PyTorch NLP and so on, uh, which you can also use off the chip when you're working on your projects. So now Rusha will take you through the rest of the recitation. So in order to practice all these different PyTorch functions and modules that we just discussed, we have designed an exercise notebook for you. Uh, please keep in mind that you use these versions of NumPy and Torch uh, when you go through this exercise notebook and when you solve it uh, in your local and when, you so uh, and when you solve it directly on Colab. We have given you the versions in the notebook. Uh, this notebook uh, takes you through various uh, exercises such as interconversion, which involves converting from, uh, you know, like simple conversions from 1D NumPy array to 1D Torch tensors. Then it uh, also makes you practice how to convert in the opposite direction, that is from PyTorch tensor to NumPy, uh, several vectorization techniques, and so on and so forth. So for the beginners, especially for beginners in a PyTorch, we highly recommend that you go through this notebook and solve each and every exercise that is present in this notebook, as this will really help you uh, in your homework or homeworks that will uh, that you will shortly see uh, in the upcoming semester. And of uh, all the functions that you will require to fill to solve these exercises can be found in the official documentation of PyTorch, uh, as you can see at this URL. And we have also designed um, a cheat sheet for you, which consists of the most commonly used um, functions that you'll be using in your homework part twos, especially. You can always refer to this cheat sheet to get a quick head start to uh, solving those exercises, but in but still, we would highly recommend that you go through the official documentation and you familiarize yourself with each and every function here and practice the same using this notebook as this will be highly beneficial for you in the longer run.
with that i think we'll end this talk with the end this recitation you can continue to learn more about pytorch at pytorch.org happy deep learning